Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a part two of my Bath and Body Works collection. So I'm going to start off with the hand soaps that I got from the semi-annual sale. Now I got these for 75% off, which was a really good deal. And I haven't used most of them because I'm saving it for the apartment I'm getting soon for school. So the first one I got is the Pumpkin Cupcake. So first of all, I love the packaging on this and... I really can't wait to use it because I love the smell of pumpkins. And then the next one I got is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Now, I love the packaging on this one as well. And I'm really excited to use this one because I love the smell of marshmallows and lattes. The next one I got is Love Ya A Latte. So the packaging is cute. And I love the smell of lattes, so I'm excited to use this one. And then finally, I got the Fresh Strawberry Tart. So this one I have been using, um, and I love the smell of strawberries, so I love this one. The next one I got is this Rose Water and Ivy Candle. So this one I didn't get, but my friend gave to me. It's one of her old ones. However, I do have my own version of the Rose Water and Ivy. I do like the scent. Now, when I do use this, I use it for the spring and summertime because it's a very simple scent. There's not like a lot to it, but it's nice. The next one I have is Paris Cafe. So this one I bought and I have mixed feelings about it, honestly. One thing I really do like about it is I love the smell of coffee and this one smells just like a cafe. I can't pinpoint exactly what cafe it smells like, but it definitely does smell like a cafe. Um, but it doesn't smell like a specific coffee drink to me. Um, but I do have to say it's a very strong scent and it does have like a pungent note in here. Where it's good and I like it, I also think it can be kind of overpowering. But when you do light up the candle, like it definitely smells better than if you were to just, just smell it as is. The next one I got, this one was from Candle Day. Now I haven't used this one yet. This is the Spiced Gingerbread. I'm actually saving this for the apartment I'm going to get soon so I'll use it there my mom doesn't like the smell of this so but it's really cute packaging um which is why I got it honestly um and I do like the smell of it it kind of has like a play-doh vanilla scent to it and it also smells like cookies so I do like the scent of that one as well um but I also think it has like a pungent note in here because the the vanilla is kind of Play-Doh-ish smelling, so it's a little bit more of like a fakey kind of vanilla scent. Um, but you definitely get that gingerbread cookie scent as well, so I do like that one. And I can't wait to use it. The next one I got is Champagne Toast. And I haven't used this one yet either, but I'm going to use it when I get my new place. Um... This one smells really good, though, just from smelling it. I love the smell of champagne toast in general. So this one smells just like champagne, or I would call it pink Moscato, rosé kind of wine. That's kind of the same scent. This has a um, little bit like Kool-Aid, but not much. But it's a very beautiful scent, so I love that as well and I absolutely love the packaging on this one it's so pretty so this is like the perfect like all year one whereas this one's more like a winter kind of scent the next thing I got is this fresh sea salt mango so this is the fine fragrance mess of sea salt so this one my friend gave to me, um, I smelled it. You definitely smell the sea salt and the mango especially. I do like it. I don't love it, but I do like it. 
and I think I will get more use out of it for like the spring and summer time. So I'm excited to use that one. The next one I got is Sweet Whiskey. So I got this from the semi-annual sale. Now this one smells like a cologne to me. Like kind of like that cologne kind of, even like that X kind of smell, but I love it. I think this is perfect for winter, for like nights out. So that's what I'm going to be using it for. The next one I have is Champagne Toast. So this is the one I got from the semi-annual sale, so it's different packaging, but I also have been loving and using this one. And I like the packaging on this one a little bit better, just me personally. Although I do like the stars on here. Um, this one, I just like the color more, so. But that's just me. But it's so, such a good scent, and I love to pair this with other fragrances as well. The next one I got is Champagne Toast. Such a classic scent. So these both smell like a high-end, like, perfume to me. Um... And you will definitely smell like pink Moscato or champagne, rosé champagne, um, rosé wine. That's kind of the same vibe that these give or just champagne in general. And it's such a beautiful, grown-up, sophisticated scent, which is why I love it. The next one I have is Vanilla Bean Noel. So this one I do like as well. This is like a great winter kind of scent. You wear it like right for Christmas or whatever you want. It's really good. To me, it smells just like Christmas sugar cookies. So if you like the smell of sugar cookies, I think you'd really like this. It's like a very strong vanilla scent, but it's also smells like cookies. The next one I have is Warm Vanilla Sugar. This one I like as well. It's kind of got, these both have kind of like a, the same base. Like it's got that vanilla base. But this one's kind of like more like a sponge sugar kind of scent. Like a sponge sugar. And then this one is like a cookie, like a sugar cookie scent. So that's kind of like the difference between these two. But they both have like a similar um, base. This one's also heavier. This one lasts like forever on me. This one's like a lighter scent. So I think it's good if you want to use this one to touch up throughout the day. If you don't want the vanilla is strong, I'd go for this one. If you want it stronger, you want to go for this one. Then finally, so I have two other fragrances um, of the same one. This is Lovely Dreamer, so I have the Body Wash, and then I have the Fragrance Mist. So basically what happened with this was I got the scrub originally. I loved it. It was like a clay scrub, but it was perfect. And I used that one to the T. But I didn't buy anything else in, the, in these kind of fragrances. And I regretted it, like the worst decision of my life. That's a little bit dramatic, but yeah. So Lovely Dreamer is honestly my favorite scent of all time at Bath & Body Works. Just saying, it's like beautiful. Um, But basically the shower gel is amazing. I love this. This one is my mom's old one, but she didn't use it. So I just took it from her. And then she let me have it. And I've been using this one a lot. It also pairs so well with like Ariana Grande Cloud as well as this fragrance. Um, I wish I had the lotion version of this as well. Now this fragrance mist, so I kept using my sister's because I loved the scent of it so much and I regretted not buying it for myself. But then my mom got it for me for Christmas. Um, she found it on eBay. These are both discontinued. Bath and Body Works bring these back because they're the best scents I've ever had from Bath & Body Works. 
um, but it's so beautiful. This is like a high-end perfume scent. Now, at the same time, I have to say about this, so it's a soft scent. It kind of reminds me of linen, the smell of like when you take your clothes out of the dryer. That's kind of the same vibe it gives. However, it's so much better. It's sophisticated. I'm actually going to give you guys the notes of this. Fluffy musk, clean woods, white iris, and fresh bergamot. It's so beautiful, though. It's like a soft but um, angelic type of scent, and I absolutely love it. I just hope Bath & Body Works brings it back, and I would stock up on these because this is my favorite scent of all time. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great day.